you guys see that? Well, Elmo and Francis here to read a story time with you guys. I told you you always have good ideas. Yeah, you want to come over this way? We're going to break here, Ella. That is cute. You guys can sit down for me. We're going to do a story. Look. Like what we're doing right now. Oh, it's going to be like a little bit of 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 a little b
triangles are Telly's favorite. Now, Oscars smell like sardines. I hope you have a really yucky time today, Oscar said. That means he hope you have a really good day. Yeah. <laughs> now, first, everybody played Dorothy Says. Blub, blub. Dorothy Says, hands on hips. Everybody put your hands on your hips. Perfect. Elmo's mommy said, Dorothy Says, touch your toes. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Dorothy Says, wave hello. didn't say lift your foot. Aw, oh, no. Elmo, I lost. Oh, we can play again later, though. Yay, I love playing games with you. Oh, well, this is a great party, isn't it? We've got food, we've got games. After that, everyone took a turn pulling on a ribbon on the piñata. <gasps> Telly's ribbon finally broke it open. Everyone say, yay, Telly! Yay, Telly! It's raining cute little tangerines! Grover exclaimed. Is that not awesome? Is it not? It is very awesome, isn't it? The last game was the pin the ear on the monster game. They had funny looking ears that went all over the place. This one's a really silly monster said Big Bird laughing. Shh! Ernie whispered, with all those ears, I'm sure you can hear everything. That's pretty fair, there's a lot of ears. Can we count them all together, everybody? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven! Uh, uh, uh! Very good job counting, guys! While they munched on lunch, the friends talked about their own birthday parties. After my party, we ate leftover pizza for a whole week! exclaimed Abby. Kawabunga! said Cookie Monster. Why you no invite me over? At my party, I popped every balloon before the guests arrived. Oscar chimed in. <laughs> Once, I got six pairs of mittens for my birthday. So we said giggling. I took the extras to school for kids who didn't have any. I borrowed a pair of those one time, Grover remembered. They were pink and adorable. When lunch was over, it was time for the cupcakes! Yay! Everybody sang there to him, Happy birthday, dear Elmo! Yeah. <laughs> it was time for Elmo to blow out his candles. Make a wish, Elmo, for a reminder of his friend. Elmo closed his eyes and blew out his candles with one big puff. Everybody help Elmo blow out the candles. <gasps> Good job, guys. Now remember, Elmo, you can't tell us your wish yet, okay? Gotta keep it a secret. After dessert, Elmo opened his presents. Abby had given him a pot she had decorated with soil and seeds to grow herbs on the windowsill. A tiny winter garden. Isn't that exciting? We can grow plants. Oh, and Telly's gift was a game. He knows how much you like to play, Elmo. And there was a warm red scarf from Oscar! It doesn't have any holes, Oscar said. Too bad, but it looks like Jester style fur face. Mm -hmm. Aw, he knew 
you'd love it, and it'll keep you warm on this cold day. And then there were four copies of the same storybook about little kittens. Oh, wait. What sound does a kitten make? Oh, can everybody make a sound like a kitten? Ready, everybody? Very good. They're very good. They know their sounds. Oops. Said Bert. Ernie and Big Bird. It's okay, Elmo said. Elmo really likes books. That's true. You know, maybe we can do something with the extra copies of the book, Elmo. And then we can keep one just for you. As everyone helped clean up, Elmo whispered something in Mommy's ear. She smiled. Elmo wants to tell you his birthday wish so you can help him make it come true, she said to the guests. Should we help Elmo make his birthday wish come true, everybody? Yeah! A little later, Elmo, his parents, and his guests all arrived at Sesame Street Community Senior Center. They brought pizza, and cupcakes, and pinata treats, and three brand new copies of a storybook. Elmo wanted to share Elmo's birthday, the little red monster said. Happy birthday, Elmo, everyone called out. Want to join us for a dance party? Asked one lady. Super duper. Oh, that sounds like the best birthday ever, doesn't it, guys? That's the end! Let's give you guys a big round of applause. Let's give Elmo an even bigger round of applause. You did such a good job, buddy. Oh, wait. Before we go have some cake, Elmo, we have to sing him a birthday song. Can we all do that together? Okay, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. pictures with our friends. So we hope to see you guys over there and continue to have a great day on Sesame Street, everybody. Bye, guys. Oh, yes, your are fans. Wave goodbye.